Hey family, I'm here again with Sarah Willis uh, with an update. And today our appeal is not only for Ms. Willis, but to establish a benevolent fund for all of our mentees that are going through uh, transitions. And so Ms. Willis is an educator. She, she understands human services and she's going to translate for us what her experience has been and uh, since you last heard from her and what it is like for a lot of people. Sarah? Hi, how are you doing Dr. Madeline? Um, yes, I think our first video was uh, a professional's re-entry back after a long period of incarceration, uh, more than seven years, and I continue to be a probationer now um, for the next three years. However, um, the, net, the last video was about um, about housing and some of the plights that uh, I've continued to face on my journey back and it's been quite uh, difficult although I have a master's, a bachelor's, an associate several different certifications and eligible for relicensure as a behavior therapist and yet I can't find stable employment simply because I'm still checking the box. They even, uh, I can't prove age discrimination, but seven years is a significant amount of time because I started doing time when I was 48 years old. Sarah, you've moved four times yes. in the past four months from a house to a car, to a hotel, to a house. And house now I'm in a house of... again. I'm in someone else's house simply because uh, the lady that I initially was staying with after the Microtel Motel, uh, when we did the video with the key, um, she decided that uh, she wanted to move her boyfriend in. And so therefore, I was given eight days notice that um, she was no longer gonna have uh, other residents in her house, uh, especially female uh, residents. And now I'm staying with a older woman, but it can be quite difficult when you're living in somebody else's house um, continually. Um, Tell us about the, the employment and the lack of hours um, to make your rent. Now, uh, I've been given one day this week at TJ Maxx and I think I don't go back to work until October the 7th uh, because there's a 12 to 14 week probation period uh, in retail. I've never worked in retail. I've always been uh, information disseminator, uh, educator, or teacher, uh, and now I'm having to take tasks that I normally had never done before in my life. Uh, I'm experiencing so many different other unexpectancies. Uh, I went without a phone for two and a half days because my phone just, it froze up, it stopped working. Um, my check light in engine is on, on my car. I've had a blowout on the highway last week. Um, just unexpected expenditures. That took and away from your rent money, right? Took away from my rent money. All of these, um, and I know, I made a statement to you earlier today to let you know that it was easier to do the time than it was for me to basically re-enter back into society. It's, it's a transition that until you're going through it, you really don't understand what it's like to be labeled a felon. You don't understand what it's like to always have to explain what these loan gaps were in your on your resume. There are a lot of different plights. Uh, there are levels inside of levels. There are sub-levels to what it takes to re-enter society after long periods of incarceration for which probably never should have taken place in the beginning. 30 seconds. What do you want people to know about how important it is to contribute whatever they can? Whatever they can. Um, right now, Everything matters. Everything matters. Everybody matters. And it is very difficult for people, especially people who've been gone for long periods of time to get the life back or even begin life over again at this particular phase, at this particular age. They have a new question now. They ask you, what year did you graduate high school? Um, there are so many different nuances 
there's no such thing as affordable housing because if I can't afford to become em employed, I'll never be able to get back on my feet. I'm asking for employability right now. That's the main living thing wage. I need. A living wage. Yeah. A decent wage. Thank you everybody who gave in the past. And remember Sarah and all of our mentees and please give what you can. Thank you, Dr. Madeline. Thank you.